Welcome back to the Blackstone Ian channel. It's been a long time. Forgive me. You know, uh, I'm not always at home. But I am for six days. So you will see many videos from now. But anyways, today is another a Ponching Crackra vlog. As usual. I wish it could be a different... Well, actually, no, I don't wish. But it would have been nice if it was a different soup. Don't you mention uh, them, Yes, so we're, we're going to show the soup and my mum will... Uh, f first of all, mum, uh, greetings to you. Hi, people. Hello, mum. Uh, we appreciate your fufu and soup making skills. And yes, we're going to show what she's doing right now. Peace. So here we have the a punching cra cra. For those who don't know, that is goat light soup. But it's not only just goats in here. And my mother will explain. Or do you want me to explain? You can ask me what is in. Okay, so first of all, what part of goat is in here? Ribs. Okay. Is that the only part of goat? Yeah. And apart from goat and the okra I can see. Or okra as some people call it, as my mum does. What else is there? I have to point it out to you. Uh, Got the okay. Um, this is what do you call it? And you don't have to lift it that high because I can see everything. So, all right, is um, Pickfoot. Oh, Pickfoot, yeah, <laughs> that saltiness. I love that. I love this that. This one's not that. too salty, and this one I've got a couple of them in. You know the one I buy from Cos salted beef, Costco's. Yeah, so she got the salted beef. I only put them in. P um, put it lower. You don't have to lift it up. Cause I no, I mean I've, I I normally drop these ones in whilst the soup is almost done. And I've got turkey smoked wing. That's my brother's favorite. Yeah, I thought I put one in it. Not much, because he's not eating any. This is the fish. The and which fish is this? Snapper, red snapper. Jeez, got the snapper fish have, in here. Have you seen the bone? The bone yeah. just dropped. Because it's. Yeah. Well, I was stirring it violently. The rest of it <laughs> is the um, the goat meat. Oh my yeah. god! I'm not sure. The soup is pulsating right now. Let me get a bit closer. Um, and this is the free okra. Oh. I like the sorted. So you've got two. See, that's the okra that she just lifted. Yeah. Inside. You've got three okra, you've got three. Is that pigfoot? Yeah. You've got three pigfoot. I love about pigfoot because it's so salty. But, you know. This one is not really, really, really salty. So, so you able to put salt in it anyway. So, what did you um, leave it in water for a while? I normally soak it in warm water. Get it sorted out. So I do Look how beautiful that looks. I will show me eating some of this. I'm not going to show all of it because, well, to be honest, I, 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 <laughs> I just I want to enjoy it in the soup. You know, I want to watch something while I eat this. So I will show a bit of me eating this. I'm not going to finish it like last time. I'd rather um, show me eating something else like Kenke, so I will do that. I have to see the way you eat fufu because I find it very fascinating. But you're the one who taught me. I, I do have my own technique as well you over have, the years. Yeah, you yeah, you've changed it as you're growing and I don't understand. Why you... Because it's become efficient. I use my hands like scissors as opposed to just squeezing it. I use my thumb and the other finger. Yeah, yeah, you wasn't taught to eat like that. Yeah, it's true. I do do the other one, you know, where you use your two middle fingers or something. And then... Um, I just find... I don't find it as quick. But that is the proper way. She's right. So we're going to come back when this has been served. Peace. So, um... I'm here with my Aponchin Krakra. Thank you, Mum. She's holding the camera. Madasi. You're nasty. 
Wow, that was very impatient. She she wants to eat, that's what she's saying. I'm not eating fufu. <laughs> you know that. You haven't and quite. Mm, no. Alright. It's too chilly. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to ask you a couple of questions. Damn it, fingers right to the brim, you know. Yeah, you want plenty of meat if you can eat all that meat in your stomach. I gave you a very tiny bit of fufu. Nice, you made the fufu soft. Yeah, that one will digest properly. Let's have some of the salted beef. Mmm. Nice and red. Yeah, next time when we go to Costco's and buy it, don't begrudge me. <laughs> it's the price that begrudge me. Look at the taste. Yeah, it costs a lot. Over 30 pounds. Oh, yeah, it's quite expensive. Ooh, see, see the way the, the goat rib. Oh, it just comes come off. off. Oh. It just comes off. Look. All right. Okay, let me just. I need to ask you a personal question. Yes. Why do you eat fufu this way? Um, something I developed as a child. Like really, you, you should do it like this. Poke a hole. And then go like this. All your five fingers supposed to be inside the soup. I really don't like that. I, I, that, is, that is the reason why I'm asking I've done you. that as a child. You remember when I was younger? Yeah. I put it all in. I, I, don't, I only like these three fingers to be wet. Maybe sometimes this by accident. But I don't want it. Your palm don't get wet. Your... I don't like that. Two last fingers don't get wet. And I don't understand it. I, I, I haven't even seen anybody eating fufu like that before. <laughs> unless they are using spoon. You know what, it's, it's something I developed because we have fufu every week since I was young. And but do sometimes you, it drips down on my fingers. Yeah, but do you enjoy that? Using just two, lifting it to your mouth. Do you, yeah, en yeah. you, do you feel comfortable? I feel more comfortable that way. I don't like it on every finger. But if it does happen, I'm not one to complain. Because I remember when you was young, you never like anything... Messy and too much sticky, running around your hands and things. But for you to use two thing, two to three fingers to eat a whole fufu. I never knew that that's something you noticed. I didn't even notice that myself. I noticed and I thought, no, that's not the way we eat fufu. We make sure our five fingers are in it. I used to do that. I just don't like doing that. I don't like all my five fingers in there. Only three. But sometimes use. it does. It, it happens. Sometimes you have to do that. If I wanted to get bigger balls, mm. then yeah, I would do that. Yeah, the balls you are taking now is still bigger. Really? It's not really, really big. It's not average. But what I'm saying is the idea of the thing, the soup is not getting inside the. Um, That's why I, sometimes I flip the fufu so it gets ev everything. Bloody hell, that fufu is big. Yeah, because uh, as you said. Oh, d go down a bit. Can that fit? <laughs> 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 it doesn't even want to go in your mouth. <laughs> oh dear. It went on my palm. Off. You don't like people licking their fingers. Why now? With soup, that's tasty. I don't care what anyone says. Lick your fingers. You don't like your brother licking fingers. No, you don't he, like no, me no, no, licking. No. What I don't like is when the soup is finished and you guys are doing this. With the bowl. Yeah, trying to skip. That's disgusting. It's finished. It's finished. That right? is the best part. How? The best part? <laughs> wow. <laughs> How is that the best part? Is this not the best part? <laughs> when it's not enough, even though you finish a full bowl and you realize, whoa, what a flavor. So let me go over the bowl <laughs> so I don't leave nothing inside. That's what we call it. 
the same way you see your younger brother eating chicken. See the way he skimmed chicken bone. He wouldn't chew the bone, never chew chicken bone. I'm talking about your younger brother. He would skin it. I taught him how to do that. He would just go over this bone and then... Hey, 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 hey. You forgot there's a spoon beside you. It's more enjoyable when you lift it up. It's like the World Cup. And where do you come from? The champions. Yeah. Lift it up, all the soup go on the floor. There's no more soup. Then it will turn into a, a comedy show because people will just laugh at the fact um, you, my mum will just tell me off. And make sure you chew the remaining soup with some salt and mm. water. <laughs> So, should we end it here? Is there any more questions you want to ask? Uh, I'm still fascinated about the way you eat your fufu without just two fingers going into your mouth. I don't even know why I do that. It's just something I developed in my teenage age. Or was it 20? Yeah, but if you had to share food with people, the people will eat before you. Before you know it, it, it will be all gone. How? Because everybody is cutting it with their five fingers, grabbing it, to yeah, making I sure. Could, I could just go like this. Yeah, but not that fast. We don't eat so quickly in so our country. So what do you mean? Like, if I saw people going that speed, I'll go that speed. We are cutting more. They are cutting more. And hide now, it. Because I know it's my soup, I can flip it around. Use do my what you thumb like. to bring it in. Look, I use my thumb like this. Okay. Hello. Hmm. I like the way you eat fufu anyway. I eat it I eat it in a posh way. I'm going I'm coming to your meat, your soup. I wanna see. Can you turn the the bowl, the the soup bowl? Just turn it a little bit. Turn it towards me. Turn it, turn it. Slide it a bit. Let me see what is inside. Let me show this. It look it looks a bit like um I burn quite, but it is uh, light soup. Yeah, it's like heavy light soup, if that makes sense. I know you don't like... When we... I don't know why you keep saying light soup. This is... Because I never... You know what it is? I didn't like light soup as much when I was young. So we mostly had in, in Katian Kwang and... Pam. A Ben Kwang. Yeah, but... And I'm sick of it. Like, I don't mind it, but it's like... I had it too much as a child. I just like light soup. Okay. But the type of light soup you like should not be like water. My light soup in my country is almost like pepper soup. It's like pepper, some salt, a bit of tomatoes, and the meat is inside. That's what we call it, light soup. But your light soup is thick. Why do you want thick light soup? Because it's more intense flavor. Mm -hmm. More intense flavor. I think I have to say bon appetit to you, son. I'm even chewing the bone of the rib of the goat. You think you can Let's make me hungry? No, no, that one is it's not. Mm, it's not as chewable, but you can chew it down. Well, for but you've, it's not worth it. You've got more meat inside that bowl. If you can finish all that meat. I don't think you can move an inch. And yeah, but this is like Christmas. I won't because I won't be here for Christmas. This is like my Christmas dinner. Yeah, if you're not here for Christmas, that's the end of you and mummy. How I'm working. I'm not. A so the work. See, I'm not your baby no more. I, I know that. Huh? I, I know work. that. Work. Make that sicker. Oh, work come before family. No. Mm -mm. What is bad? So, you'd rather me struggle? I'd rather pay you. No, that, I'm not into that. To be with us. A man paves his own way. No. You're not a man yet. <laughs> you see what I mean? That's mother's view. you never see me as a man. <laughs> no, even no. with my own children. Yeah, you're not a man yet. Even if you're 50. I mean, yeah. I'm in your 20s. Yeah, when you're 50, then, yeah, I'll, I'll give you that chance. But 30s, you're still not a man. Well, I just 
this is turned Tony. into like a, a family reality show. <laughs> combined that is the fact. This is African people. mother talking. When you're respect, I do respect when you're forty five and with wife, children, for fifty, yeah, a man. Mm. That's that's what I see you as a man. But at the moment, no, 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 no. You're I my. Bought you, I, I bought you a house right now. I'll be the man. You're my son. You're my uh, um, my boy. I wouldn't say you're my baby. You're not my baby. <laughs> that, that's uh, my, the other one. Oh, yeah. Michael Yao. He's the one who gets away with everything. Well, he just got 20 pounds in his account. That's what I went upstairs for. I bet when he read, he kept saying he doesn't read his uh, thing. I bet he will see that there's something inside his account. I said, look, son, go to a restaurant, eat well. <laughs> yeah, that's what I said. Right, should I leave you alone to try and finish it? Because I think I've done enough for you. My is mistress. It? Is this that okay? Is my mistress right here. Oh. Actually, no, no. It's my wife. Which one is your mistress? Kenke. Mm. Is it? Yeah, you like Kenke so many... much. I don't know why you don't start producing Kenke yourself. <clears throat> <laughs> it's quite a hard process, I'll be honest. Considering some kind of a shanty guy who like food food so much and soup. I know how to make that myself. Apart from that I might have to marry a woman who a can make kinky. A a woman from Accra. Who can make kinky? Because you love kinky. You can eat kinky without even nothing with it. No chili, nothing. Just kinky, no meat. The flavor and the sour of it, it is it is a big thing to you. So, your yeah, your mistress. <laughs> I think he needs to go to training to learn how to do kinky. <laughs> no matter what girl it is, has to know how to. Has to cook. You can but cook. If she is going to cook for me. You have to cook what I want to cook. Like kinky. Yeah, if uh, I'll be realistic. If you can't do that, it's not easy to make kinky. But if we're in Ghana and you do come from the tribe that is primarily known for making kinky, I do expect someone in your family to well, don't the kinky. Don't worry, son. When the time comes, I go to Osu. There's so many of them there. They're even looking for a husband. Be careful in Osu. You know. Let's go to somewhere a bit neutral. like well, te 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 Yeah. Yeah, it's it's not far from Osu anyway. <laughs> so no, no, but Osu is known as like the Oxford Street and nightlife. I, I don't know. I'm not saying people are bad in o Osu. No, that's okay, not, I'll, take, I'll go to Teshi. Yes, Teshi. Nungwa. Yeah, Nungwa. Like, we, we can even go Tema if you go. Oh, Tema, no, no, no. Let, let's be careful and pass the Tema. Yeah, <laughs> Let, let's stick to um, Teshi Nungwa. I, like, I, like, I love all Kenke. I love Fancy Kenke as well. So I might have to go to Agona Shredu and get me a wife. African man can marry as many as he wants, son. You can get infante, you can get a guy. I know, but a lot of women now, are, it's different now. Especially in Western countries like America or Europe. It depends. It's A lot of girls are not... It's your pocket, money talk. I, I don't know whether to say it's part of feminism or, you know, modernization of this world. It's... It's frowned upon, especially the girls born in this country. So, anyways, I hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you, Mum, Madasi P. And I hope you guys have a great Christmas, even though I'll be doing more videos. So I don't know why I said that. But anyways, I can't remember my former outro. So I'm going to end this with, uh, if you haven't already, please subscribe. If you liked it, please like. If you haven't already, feel free to dislike. And... Peace to everyone.